Hi, I'm Trevin Stolzfus and welcome to this month's installment of Outback Outdoors. Outback Outdoors prides itself on action-packed adrenaline hunting backed with good tips and tactics in a short web format. This week we're going to go and we're going to look at antelope hunting with a bow, spot and stock, decoy, and of course ambushing them, sitting on a ground blind on a water hole. Don't go away. This is going to be exciting. Outback Outdoor begins now. Outback Outdoors is brought to you by Badlands Backpacks. Demand Badlands and hunt with confidence. Hoyt, get serious, get Hoyt. Lone Wolf Tree Stands, your silent partner. Montana Decoy, is it alive or another Montana Decoy? Mossy Oak, it's not a passion, it's an obsession. Mossy Oak Biologic, scientifically proven wild game products. Muzzy Broadheads, bad to the bone. Nikon, the trusted name in optics. Winner's choice strings. Champion shooters live by them, hoping young trophies die by them. Spot and stalk antelope hunting. One of the most common ways to hunt antelope in the early and the late seasons, it should actually be called spot and crawl when you're dealing with antelope. The spot in Spot and Stalk comes from looking for a high vantage point where you can cover a lot of country and glass, glass, glass. I can't stress that enough. And then once you locate the antelope, you use that same vantage point to plan your sneak attack, to look and try to use the terrain to your advantage. Once you begin your stalk, make sure to go slow, take your time, and use the terrain to your advantage. Every bit of every little bush, terrain, roll in the terrain that you can find, you're going to want to use. Antelope have almost 360 degree vision and the equivalent of a 10 power binocular. So if you do something wrong, if you're out in the open, if you silhouette yourself, you're going to get picked off. Don't be afraid to get down and crawl. You're going to do a lot of crawling and spot and stalk antelope. But I'll tell you one thing, watch out for cactus. I didn't have time to range find him. He stood up. I figured him he was about 50. I shot it uh, for 45 because it was a little downhill. Uh, you know, and I hit him a little high, but he's hit. And uh, so.
Well, folks, as you saw, the shot made earlier this afternoon was a little high, but, but we watched that buck. We didn't push him. You know, spot and stock antelope is, it's amazing that you can get that close. But in country like this, it's broken. It works really well. We watched him. We let him bed down. We moved out. Well, then some rain came in. As you know, if you've ever lived out here in the west, if you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes, it'll change. Well, we got some rain. It's now close to dark, and uh, he's down. Uh, we saw his head go down, and we still gave him another hour, hour and a half. So uh, we'll go take a look at him. John, hold that head up. I mean, that right there. That's a beautiful antelope. That is a beautiful antelope. Hello, I'm Adam Wells. I'm here with Mossy Oak Biologics Habitat Minute. What I'd like to discuss with you is habitat in the West and how by understanding the key factors of habitat, the property owner or manager, as well as the Western hunter, is going to be more successful in the field. Back East, there's been a lot done with food plots and how we can all see how that's enhanced the hunting for our sportsmen in the East. Out here in the West, there's just as much you can do, but it's a more complicated system. One example of this is understanding what the the limiting factor is to any animals or any population's survival. The land manager owner, there are certain things he can do to improve the viability of their property and the western hunter by understanding what the limiting factor is to the population is going to be able to better spend their time in more productive areas where they can find those elk or deer that they're looking for. You're dealing with shorter growing seasons erratic precipitation patterns, as well as a multitude of, of other factors. So please join me as we go through some strategies that will help you, the landowner, or the western hunter, be more successful.